Benelli, mm -hmm. where are we? Are we at another garden? Because I feel like I've seen every garden in a 50 mile radius and none of them come close to what I want for our wedding. Okay, okay, just, yeah, my sweet, has to be patient. Um, this is unlike anything we've seen, okay? Ta-da. Um, what, what is this place? Well, it, it, it's a Buddhist temple. It's the perfect setting for our nuptials. Tapping into ancient spirituality and, and, and the promise that, the, that wedded bliss will bring an oasis of calm in an otherwise chaotic universe. Are you serious? Well, I mean, this location would certainly I I ensure nuptials of a meditative nature, a, a harbinger of, of calm and, and hope for the peace and happiness that awaits us. The fact that this place makes me want to take a nap, the harbinger you were looking for? You were less than impressed. The Spinelli, no, it's a, it's a really pretty garden. I mean, it's peaceful and calm and ancient. It just doesn't scream wedding to me on any level. The nuptials are set for Friday, and the glorious bride has yet to decide on a location, so it leads me to ask, do you really want to get married? The list of locations we've investigated in includes five different churches of various denominations, one synagogue, gardens of many different varieties, three cliffs, one of which I almost fell off of, uh, hotels, restaurants, banquet halls, even a library, and all of these locations have been wanting in your, in your beautiful eyes. I'm not trying to be difficult. I just, I only plan on getting married once, and I'd, I'd like for it to be perfect. But this search for perfection has caused a now catastrophic delay. You've always been so supportive of my artistic vision. It was a vision that I, that, that we shared, but what was once so clear to me has disappeared into a mist of apprehension that our wedding day will dawn and we'll have no place for the wedding. Spinelli, I'm not, I'm not trying to be picky, but what part of me looks like I would be a bride in a Buddhist garden? This is most distressing. You know, if I, if I wasn't so confident that my love was equally returned, I would suspect a stalling tactic or perhaps even a, a subconscious desire to avoid marriage altogether. No. I love you, Spinelli. And I really want to make you happy. And I think the place where we get married should be a perfect reflection of our perfect love. Okay. Well, then we will continue this quest together. All right. Describe your vision of perfection, and I, I will move mountains to bring it to you. I'm not. That place can't be real. It just, it sounds too perfect. And it would be so sad if I had to compromise. Maybe it is just a good idea if we postpone them. The solution is at my fingertips. Spinelli, <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea. No, I disabled the alarm system. It's, no one will know we're here. You ready? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's exactly what I described. Well, your wish is my command. It's perfect. What is this place? It is the uh, Rice Manor drawing room. Available for rentals, for weddings, bar mitzvahs, other special occasions. And with your consent, we can book it for Friday. Are, are you sure that it's available? Last minute cancellation. It appears all the karmic energies are converging to create a pathway to marital bliss. Well. Far be it for me to fight karma. I love you, Spinelli. We have a place to get married!